What are you waiting for? Can you see me? Come on, what are you waiting for? Sorry. Sorry, one second. Sorry, the camera's not, um, sorry, one second. We've never done this from home before. Um, okay. Come on, what are you waiting for? You can see me. Can you see and hear me? Come on, what are you waiting for? Here we go. Let me just take that from the top. What if you had fun every day instead of, uh, at work instead of getting migraines? Come along with me and be a Disney team member. Come, Come on. on, what are you waiting for? again sorry I missed some of the dance moves I missed some of the dance moves I gotta start again you didn't know that you could have a fun job you didn't know that you could be working at Disney. Come, have fun. Work with me, we'll work as a team. Come, have fun. You're a Disney team member and the fun just begun. Oh my God, I've had the best time of my life at work. I guess it's because I work at Epcot. Oh no, I used to hate my job at, at being, I, I used to hate my job at Chipotle, but now I work at the Animal Kingdom. Oh God, oh God, this sucks. I used to be an insurance agent selling insurance all day. It was such a dead end job, but now, but now I work at the, in the teacup ride. Everyone, I, I, I invite you to find out what your job at Disney World is today, but first we're gonna have a big presentation. Oh my God, I worked as a real estate agent. Before I got before I get got to work at, on one of the big water slides in the in the theme park for the water slides. Woo! Come join the fun. Come join the fun. That was good. Oh, okay. All right. Come join the fun. Okay. Oh God. One second. Hey, yeah, I got you on my, I got you on my headset. Yeah, I'm about to start the presentation now. No, yeah, I'm really excited about doing it. I just did the intro dance. No, I have them on mute. They can't hear me. I'm about to do the presentation. I'm in my office. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do voices anymore. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. Heads. I'm so excited. Does the hand look weird there? Hello, all you Disney heads. Hello, all you Disney heads. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have you on the Choo Choo all aboard the Disney Express. And although work can be goofy, it's it's also serious, which is kind of why we have an orientation that you have um, an orientation. You know, there's been a couple of situations where I wasn't feeling like a Disney princess. You know, it's a small world. Um, when you walk in on the guy who plays the candelabra in Beauty and the Beast just railing the Chester cat over and over again. But we only went out last night and he, nev he, he, he never said we were exclusive. Um, I, I walked in on uh, this guy that I was seeing. He was, he was in the Beauty and the Beast presentation and um, yeah, he was having sex with the Chester cat. 
Um, <laughs> like, he's not my boyfriend, so it doesn't matter, so it's fine. But um, let's get back to, but who cares, mate? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go. Co we're gonna cover a lot of stuff in this orientation. Uh, we're gonna cover the. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now. We're gonna cover some of the new repairs around the park, such as um, Pirates of the Caribbean rides. Not safe at all, but we're still running it. Um, so you gotta know where you know. You gotta know what what to do to run it because it's dangerous to be on. Um, but you know you gotta wear goggles. And you got to make sure everybody else getting on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride, ride wears goggles as well, or else something bad's going to happen. And something bad did happen, and something bad definitely happened. Um, so yeah, uh, but it's okay as long as everyone wears goggles. Um, let me introduce myself. Hi, I'm Megan, your team leader today. If you follow the rules, the cloud will go away. Work can be fun and carefree. If you follow me, it'll be a breeze. It'll be breezy, real breezy. Um, so right now I'm just gonna say hello. I've been reading off of a piece of paper because I have my lines on it. Uh, we haven't normally been doing these orientations online. I'm kind of a people person. <laughs> I like to connect. Um, oh God, my computer. Um, I like to connect with the people I'm talking to doing the orientation, but this shouldn't be any different. Um, I'm just talking right through your screen. Uh, we're going to go through a lot of stuff tonight on the orientation. I just want to say once and for all, like, uh, it's not good if you just listen to half of it. Uh, you got to kind of stay for the state of play. Um, we have a lot of stuff uh, going on in Disney World. We're really excited about opening up the park again. Oh, well, I'm all excited about my partner right here, Stitch. Uh, that's just kidding. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the park, if you want to listen, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about your job duties. Um, but yeah, I've, um, been working at Disney for 36 years. Um, I've done pretty much everything. You know, I started out actually as the Little Mermaid in, um, a production, and they, they said my ass got too big for the costume. Um, which was hard and uh, they kind of relocated me over to the big closet uh, Mickey's closet, which is um, It's one of those uh, What would I what would you say? It's one of those little uh, little tiny carts where you sell different um, Souvenirs mostly those uh, little clips that you here. I'll show you a picture mostly. I have sold for the last couple years these um, little pins and uh, you're gonna be you're gonna be seeing a lot of these at the park. Uh, now, we we used to it used to be a very innocent thing <laughs> to to have those pins. I mean, normally it just meant like what park you've been to. Um, and so I was wearing them up the Yin Gang. I was wearing them all over. Uh, I was I actually had um, I used to go into work. I mean, because I worked at the station that sold them. Uh, we also sold sold uh, frozen lemonade. Um, which oh, I got a little too much of one day. <laughs> I started throwing up into the bin. Um, but I, I was selling those pins, and all of a sudden, a, uh, a bunch of teenagers were always by my cart saying, "What is that?" They would go. I, I started hearing them go, oh, "Oh God, you got the Esmeralda pin." Ugh, that must mean you you know you went down. I was like, "What?" You know, and I said, "Went down where?" And they started laughing, and run away. I started googling it every day, try, try, trying to see what they meant. And um, I guess that means that different pins you've gotten. See, if you see there's different pins, uh, we got on this little lete, we got the Ariel's, um, we got an Ariel pin. We got, uh, oh, actually a lot of villains on her. Uh, but the pins actually mean what you've done sexually, which I'm like, okay, next. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Uh, it makes me uncomfortable, but um, <laughs> I, I guess that's what the pins mean though now. It's like if you have seven pins on this side, it means you've uh, done ass stuff. And then if, you, if you're doing the pins on this side, it means only mouth or something. And then if you got 69 pins and you know what that means, oh God, okay, my ears are closed. <laughs> I'm not listening, I'm not listening. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go through a lot of this. Uh, just know somebody, if somebody on your first day says like what pins you have, they're asking something a little bit more than you thought. Uh, I actually got rid of all my pins, even though I'm still at the, uh, at the cart that sells them because I'm just so blushing. And anytime well, a teenager comes over she, and they'll go, you know, cause I actually had a lot of pins on mine and that means that you're a big slut. 
<laughs> and so anytime it's, <laughs> but I can't just wear it without my pins. I can't just wear the lanyard without the pins. It'll look like I, you know, I don't have any money to buy the pins even though I'm selling them. Um, so I, I don't wear them at all anymore because I was tired of teenagers coming over to the cart. Oh God, she's a slut. She's a slut. I'm like, oh, come on guys. That's not what these mean. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, let's see, let's see. Uh, all, okay, so all of you should have gotten in your welcome packet. Let me pull it up. So all of you guys should have got one of these big babies. Deliver to you. Um, it's a welcome packet. We're going to read some because I know a lot of you guys don't read it even though it's sent to you, <laughs> you know. Um, so let's just see. Let me, let me read a little bit of it for you. Um, it also, I just want to say I'm really excited to work with you guys. We haven't had new team members in 17 years. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm getting pretty sick of seeing the same faces here. Um, <laughs> I'm just like sitting here diddling my thumbs and waiting for a new friend. So I'm really excited to get you guys coming into the park um, and working. And uh, I'm going to show you guys, yeah, your jobs later. Um, because I know all of you guys are working. I'm really excited to get to know y'all. Maybe we do an adult prom. <laughs> okay. Um, so... I'm going to start reading page one if you want to read along. This is an incredible time to be part of the Walt Disney Company. I'm so excited. I'm about to tear up. Um, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, the person who usually does these has passed away. Um, okay. And I... Okay. Here I go. <laughs> this is an incredible time to be part of the Walt Disney Company. And I feel privileged... To have the opportunity to lead such a talented and dedicated workforce. That's about you. Our company's unique. That you can say that again. In its proud heritage and promising future, incredible collections of brands and content, and and commitment to telling great stories and creating magic in people's lives every day. That being said. All employees of the company are expected to have reviewed this manual, to be familiar with its contents, and to conduct themselves um, constantly with the principles expressed. Failure to do so may result in disciplinary action. Uh, yikes. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, sorry, I lost my place because I was doing that. I, pra I, pra I was going to do that. I practiced doing that, but then I lost my place. Um, do, 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 do. Failure to do the same result. In the, do, do, do. Yep, that's right. Something bad will happen. Do you know what really goes on in the Disney castle besides the little special brunch with Cinderella that costs an arm and a leg? Sweetie, you take the arm. I'll take the leg. Uh, sorry, I lost my place again. Um, you take the arm, sweetie. I'll take the leg. Uh, kidding. But really, you know what happens? No, you don't. You don't want to know. And this is true. But if I told you what went on in the castle, you would never want to work here. And that's in the manual. I mean, I remember that being in my manual day one. Okay. Let's turn to page 16 for do -do 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 -do. sexual harassment. We got to talk about it, people. Oh, God, I don't want to talk about it. What a bummer. Oh, uh, we got to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We have to, Lindsay. <laughs> um, so let's do it. Let's talk about it. So, okay. Uh, the first thing I want to bring up is we had last year, last fall, a disgruntled worker and let's just call him Frankie ZD. And Frankie ZD would go around in the little mini mouse. You know, the, there's a row of houses in the Magic Kingdom. It's the mini house. It's next to the Mickey house. There's the Donald Duck boat. And there's little pictures hanging up of the characters. And uh, this is hard to talk about. But Frankie ZD, let's just call him that. His name's Zach. Uh, Frankie ZD went around and replaced the pictures with sexual Disney pictures. So instead of seeing Minnie's portrait when you would walk into the Minnie house, you saw this. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, is Snow White wearing a nude big bathing suit? I, mean, I uh, look at the boobies on Belle. I mean, this isn't this isn't right. We can't be putting these images up. I mean, to be honest, 
to be honest, uh, Cinderella doesn't look too half bad. That that bathing suit's fine. Um, but they they replaced every every image with these yucky images, and, and I, I'm like, oh god, you know, I don't want to see Little Mermaid like that. I don't want to see Pocahontas with poking out. <laughs> I do not want to see Pocahontas poking out. <laughs> when you show those kind of images, you're not just sexually harassing Minnie. You're not just sexually harassing Mickey. You, in fact, are sexually harassing everyone that walks in the door. And I, I, I mean, come on, look at the Little Mermaid. I, there's nothing little about that. I, I mean, if that's what the Little Mermaid looks like, then honey, I could have been in the show still. <laughs> Oh God! You know when I first saw that, I was at, I was actually cleaning up some uh, poopy in the Minnie's house, and I, it was after hours. I'm cleaning up a big pile. I look. Uh, I'm kind of half asleep. I look up at the portrait of Minnie. I'm going, oh. you know, oh. I, I I think I think I'm hallucinating it. I I kind of rub my eyes. Uh, what did I just see? What did I just see? I forget about it for weeks. I I don't think about it again. Then I heard Caroline talking to our manager, talking about it. And I was like, oh, I didn't imagine that. <laughs> you know, like when you're working in Disney World, you start hallucinating. Yeah, oh, there's a dragon over there. You know, is that someone in costume or is that a dragon? I hallucinated. I, I thought I was hallucinating, but I, I wasn't. Um, Frankie Z, Zach, put the picture in there just to be funny. Um, another image I actually found really horrifying. Um... There's a there's a dragon uh, a dragon burger hut in the Magic Kingdom that I love to get burgers at, and there's a big picture and it's kind of um the dragon burger hut is it's kind of dragon theme you know okay there's a scene in Toy Story where they go to a Pizza Hut place and it's kind of like there's alien themes it's kind of like that so there's kind of pictures of Woody and Buzz Lightyear in there for no reason because I'm like oh what's the theme in here you know but the burgers are great they're vegetarian. They're delicious, okay? <laughs> it tastes like grilled meat. Um, so I'm going to the Dragon Hut, Burger Hut. I look up at this picture of Woody, and he looks different than he did the other day. So I'll just show you guys the picture of him. This is him. This is the picture that's hanging in the, in the Burger Hut. And I'm going, okay. Um, this isn't quite normal because if you see this, this is not the Woody we've known and loved. This is not the typical picture that is hanging up in the Dragon Hut. This is a picture right after Woody has <laughs> with someone. This is a picture of Woody right after he, he you know, came all over the, the, the little Bo Peep. He, he's not normal. He's not, he's someone who, I can't see the bottom of the picture, but maybe someone's sucking him off, you know? I, I don't know. He's, he's looking dazed, confused, on drugs. I don't know. This is not... The Woody we know and love. You have to admit that. And when you are working as a Disney team member, which all of you are, all of you have been hired, congratulations, congratulations. We'll talk about it later. But you can't be replacing the pictures in the Minnie house, the Mickey house, the, the Dragon Hut. You, you can't be mixing, you know, you can't be mixing around different pictures because we don't want to see this. We don't want to see this when we're eating. This is This is a Woody who has just got his rocks off you know this is this is the face of, of what I want my husband to look like on our wedding night this is not the face of someone you want to be looking at these are not you know these are not your typical Disney princesses these are not the women that we know and love these these are are, are people who've been replaced these are pictures that have been replaced these are pictures that have been replaced if you're joining us now I see that the numbers are skyrocketing after the sexual pictures um, you, you are, are, this is a, a work seminar. So if you are not, you haven't been hired to work at Disney, then bye bye but all of you have, so stay. Um, and you need to stay the whole time. Uh, so yeah, so, so the, the number one thing is we don't want, again, again, one more time, we don't want pictures to be replaced with a Woody that's just had sex, oral sex. We don't want pictures in the in the the, the 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 kingdoms, the parks, to be replaced with these little sluts. Okay, these are not those those images are not from Disney himself. He wouldn't have droned that. He wouldn't have droned that. He wouldn't be droning a a, a Woody who's been like, oh, well, give me another, you know. Um, okay, pop quiz time. So we're gonna have a pop quiz. If somebody wants to call in for a little pop quiz, you might just get a better job if you if you if you pass the quiz. It's a little bit of a sexual harassment quiz. So let's see who calls in. Please don't kind of try to call and and sort of prank me because 
Uh, we're, we're having a meeting tonight. This is a work meeting and we're not doing jokes. Uh, but if you want to call in and ask, 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 answer a few questions about sexual harassment, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see who calls in because I'm really excited tonight to, to see who my little busy bees are. <laughs> we're connecting. We're connecting. Hello. Who do I have? Hi. I'm Maya. Maya, I'm so excited for you to be, for us to be working together. I am so thrilled, honestly. I'm really excited to see if you know your stuff about sexual harassment. I'm going to give you a scenario. Let's cut to the chase, hun. All right. <laughs> I'm allowed to say hun. We're allowed to say that. That's one of the words. Because the thing about um, the words we're allowed to call each other baby, no. We can't be saying that in the workplace. But hun stems from honey and pooh bear. Um, so I'm going to give you a scenario. And you're going to tell me if it's OK or not. OK? OK. So, scenario, you're working over at It's a Small World After All Ride, okay? okay? Indiana, the guy that plays Indiana Jones stops by on his lunch break. It's an hour before his next show. Oh, one of the things I want to tell you before, I'll redo the scenario. The thing okay. about this is that th there's a rule now that you can't date someone in the same park. So, you can have someone, you know, that you're slugging it with in Epcot if you work at the Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I work at the Magic Castle, I could be, you know, kangarooing with somebody that works at MGM Studios, but I wouldn't because they're all sluts. But, you know, oh, you can yeah. work with someone at a different park. You, you can date someone at a different park. You cannot be dating someone if you work in the same park. So let me give you that. Let me hit you with a scenario. Um, scenario. You're working over at It's a Small World. That's in Epcot. Or it's in Magic Kingdom. Sorry. Wait, is it? Well, honey. I can't be keeping up with all the rides because I'm, I'm overworking at the, the, the cart. Okay, we were working at It's a Small World After where, Tongue twister. You're working over at It's a Small World After All. Indiana Jones stops by on his lunch break. He's over at the Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. He stops by. There's an hour. You don't know if it's his whip or his mm -hmm, hat. You don't know if it's his whip or his hat. But, honey, he's got your attention. He mm -hmm. asks you out. You can't resist. You both have sex on the ride. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I had to remove. <sighs> you could be having sex in closets. You could be having sex in one of those little go-karts that go around the park. You can't have sex in the, inside of the ride. I'm sorry, I, I, I've done it before, <laughs> and I'll do it again, but I, I'll get in trouble for it. Let's get someone else to do the second scenario. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm racking my brain right now of why they would answer it like that. Okay, let's see, hit me again. Let's see who else we're working with. Uh, let's see who else is working with us and let's see if they know their stuff. Um, here we go, hello there. Hi. <laughs> who do I got? Joey. Joey, I'm so excited. I actually saw your, your, your uh, job application and I started screaming. Oh. Because I thought for a second that you were my cousin who's passed away. You have the same nice. name and you answer everything on a job application the same. I started screaming. So I'm going to give you a scenario. First of all, are you, are you dang excited to work at Disney? Dang excited. Can you not be believing it? Cannot believe it. Can I see this? Okay, raise the roof, raise the roof. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the scenario. Let's see if you can answer it. The last uh, crew member has been fired. Uh, scenario two, you're working at the Haunted Mansion. Ooh, spooky, I'm scared. Um, the cotton candy guy comes to you and want, asks you out. He's very ugly, you say no. He asks it again four times, each time looking more uglier than day. Is that okay? No. No, thank you, no. Why be not? I mean, not? where where do you even begin? I know. First of all, ew, ugly. I didn't know we hired those. No, I mean, look at us. I mean, come on. Drop dead gorgeous can't take my eyes off of you. And now I'm in trouble for sexual harassment. <laughs> oh, God, no. Well, I'm allowed to say whatever I want during the orientation. But um, only with your, I mean, as long as you're having fun, right? Oh, yeah. That's all that matters. I would never want to make someone uncomfortable. 
Um, so what, what I want to say is here is the policy. You can ask somebody out one time. The second time you're asking them out, you better be giving them a diamond bracelet. That's, that's a gift. You can give them a gift. Yeah. Then that's it. You can't be asking them out again. You can give them a gift and not ask them out. You can't be asking people out four times. They say no, that's a no. I mean, oh, there's who, plenty of other sluts in the sea. Who raised these people, honestly? Who writes these people? Who raised them? Like, why? where did they learn these rules? I, I ask myself every day. I think they've been raised by wolves. You know, at first I thought you, I, I thought, to be honest, you said, who writes these? And I was like, well, I write them. You know, I write you know, the scenarios. I didn't but, want to say it, but you said it, so. I, I had to write, you know, so these scenarios don't make up themselves. Do you want to do the third one? There's one more. You want to do one more? Third time's a charm. And honey, block me. Third time's a charm, lock, charm, lock me in a barn. Okay, here we go. Do, would, you, would you lock me in a barn? Oh, I mean, if you were comfortable with it. I'm not. Let me out. No way then. Never. <laughs> the third scenario is this. And I'm going to tell you, you're about to be a manager. You're about to be a manager at Zigzaggy Zoos, which is a, chil one, a children's portion of the, the Magic Kingdom. Okay. So the third scenario is this, you're having sex with your fiance that doesn't work at the park. You're in your bed. He wants you to role play as Mrs. Potts. Is that okay? If, you know, I'm comfortable with it, then. Is that yeah. okay? I think so. No, it's not. We don't role play unless we're in the park. Um, I know oftentimes you guys are going to be in character all day. Some of you lucky ones. Uh, most of you will not be working in the character section, but you can't be role playing at home and bring your work home and then go to the park all day. You'll be tired. If I was at the park playing my dream role, Mrs. Potts, which they won't let me, they will not let me near the costume. Um, I had an accident. Um, I can't believe I'm saying this story. After I played Ariel, The Little Mermaid, in 1904, I was asked to stop playing her because my ass was getting so big. They gave me a chance, though, to play one of the twin Weeble Wobbles in Alice in Wonderland. Really hot role, if you make it. You know, oftentimes that role is played by two, like, roly-poly twins. We kind of did a gender bender thing, and it was two hot women like me. And... I played one of the twins. I can't remember the name. Probably it was probably Wig Wiggy Wig Wiggles. I don't know. It's the you know the two twins in Alice in Wonderland. I played one of them. And it, there was one day that I got some sort of bad shrimp because I was shit in, in that costume all day, and they will not let me play any of the characters. It was running up and down my leg. I didn't think anyone can see it though. And we played did a show, Alice in Wonderland. We, played the show. It was in Epcot. They don't even normally do shows there. And um, right in the center there, it was hot as hell that day. And I've been shitting up and down my pants. We go out the opening number. All of a sudden, I thought no one could smell it or see it because those costumes really lock it in. And the, co the costumes were very round. And um, I was kind of doing a little like, since we were doing a sort of, um, since we were doing sort of a like different take on the twins. I was kind of going like this. She's like, the twins were supposed to be sexy. Alice is riding on the chest star cat. That, that's the one that, you know, effed my, the guy I was dating. So I have to look at that. I don't want to curse anyone, that word. And um, I'm shitting up and down in my pants. And I, I'm coming out for the big number. And I'm like, even though I shit my pants, I still want to do a good job. So I'm warming up the vocals in the back. We come out to do the opening number, and all of a sudden, a kid's looking at me and goes, ew, ew. I go, shh, shh, shut up, shut up. And I'm going, shh, shh, shh. We're all singing the opening number. I guess it's trailing out onto the floor because the kid keeps pointing their, pointing their, their hand at the, at, my, at the bottom of my pants, so it's dripping everywhere. And I'm, I'm like, oh, God, this is it. They're going to move me. You know, they're going to remove me from the show. And he keeps going, they're poopy, poopy. Oh, God, the, the twins pooping their pants. I, I start running, just running through the audience. And it's getting on everyone. It doesn't matter. So um, what, I, what I just say, stop talking about the poop, God. 
kids are such idiots. That's one thing you need to know. The only person that's not stupid as a kid is my nephew, who I love. I wouldn't let him near the Disney World because it's a dangerous place. I mean, the pirate ride is, you can't even use it right now. Um, but well, all that to say, a lot of you are, we're going to tell you guys our jobs. Uh, everyone wants to be a Disney princess, but most of us are going to be cleaning the toilets. Um, okay, so let me talk to you guys a little bit about the park. I want to tell you guys a little bit about the different parks um, because it's not all funny games. So let's just, well, just let's do a review because not everyone's been to Disney World. Uh, not everyone's been to Disney World, and I'm sorry about it. Uh, here we go. So the Animal Kingdom. Disney's Animal Kingdom is the largest park at Walt Disney World. Sometimes, uh, something that people don't know is the animals do get out. Um, <laughs> I took my roommate to Disney World once, and she was a great roommate. I mean, she was so excited to be alive, and she got trampled by a rhino. And it's not something that I ever stopped thinking about because they should have been in a cage. They should have been in a uh, back. And some people don't even know the animal kingdom has animals. Um, but yeah, someone said, wait, what? Yeah, my roommate had got trapped by a rhino. She's not dead. She said she's dead. No, but she won't talk to me because I said how fun the day was going to be. And she was like, we're not kids. I don't even want to go to animal kingdom. And she's still in a, she was in a coma for 47 years. She got out of the coma. She didn't want to be friends anymore. Um, another, uh, the, a park I keep talking about, chatting about, is the Magic Kingdom. The Magic Kingdom is Walt Disney World's most popular destination and is first on everyone's list of things to experience when they arrive in Central Florida. The park is full of great attractions like Seven Dwarf Mine Train, Space Mountain, and Jungle Cruise, which is also very dangerous. We shouldn't be doing that right anymore. And features lots of entertainment, including parades, yay, fireworks, spectaculars, and character meet and greets, and shows. However, the park is very overwhelming and becomes quite crowded, even during the low season. Um, and that's really true, because there was one day at work where there were so many people. I kept going, ow, 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 ow. People kept bumping into me and started making me throw up. Because when I'm around that many people, I start throwing up and I couldn't find a bathroom anywhere. And ow, ow, people were on both sides of me. I started throwing up and I was trying to catch it in my shirt. And the shirt was uh, overwhelming and, and it kept getting on everyone else. And um, just remember that when you walk through. Epcot, Epcot, one of my favorite places in the world. Epcot features two distinct park sections, Future World and World Showcase. Uh, oh both full of attractions, dining and entertainment. The big white ball is haunted though. Um, this is something, oh, sorry, we paused. Uh, this is something that's really scary to me. The, the, the big white ball in Epcot, something really bad happened in there because, and I see I'm losing viewers, why? If I'm losing viewers, I'm losing workers. Because if you're in this, you got to stay here for to see where your job is. I know it's late, but this is mandatory. So stay with us. Um, so Epcot's really haunted. Uh, there, there's something really dark that's happened. You know, the, the, the ride itself inside the ball is, is kind of boring, but kind of fun. It's like you get inside the ball, the ball and the ride, you go around, you see a lot of different cool little animatronic people. And it's really awesome. Someone has been murdered in there though. You can tell. There is a heavy energy in the Epcot ball. Um, there is a heavy energy in the Epcot ball. I, 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 I cannot explain it, but as soon as I'm, if I'm ever in there, which I never am unless I want to take a ride at night, <gasps> I lose my breath. I lose my breath. Someone was murdered in there. I could tell. And, um, you know, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say any rumors, but I was in there one night having sex with one of my managers, just really raw jogging. And I thought, oh, sorry, got a little spooked. <laughs> All of a sudden I felt this. It wasn't him because he was down. I was like, what is that? I turn around, a ghost, a, a little old woman ghost is behind me, grabbing the back of my neck. Um, okay, oh, NGM Studios. I don't have a picture of it because basically everybody that works there is a. B-I-T-C. 
HC you next Tuesday. Um, we don't talk, we don't talk about NGM. Okay, before we give on our jobs, let's play a game, everyone. Uh, let's play a game, and the game is called What Do You Think That The Workers Here at Disney World Can't Resist? There's going to be three options. Let me put this on. What do you think we are absolutely addicted to here as workers of Disney World? Is it, and put in the comments what you think. Is it A, we all hate our parents? B, have we ha we've all gone to jail. Or C, we love a sing-along. What is it? A, B, or C? A, B, or C? Is it A, B, or C? Is it A, we hate our parents? B, two, B, we've, gone, we've all gone to jail. Or C, we, three, we love a sing-along. Well, so, uh, someone says C, we love a sing-along. Well, you just got it right. Okay, I see what's happening here. You're face to face with a job and it's strange. You don't even know how you feel. You work here. Well, it's nice to see that you have work experience. Open your eyes, let's begin. Let's read the manual, come on, breathe it in. I know it's a lot, the uniform, the bod. When you're staring at a team leader, what can I say except you work here with Mickey and Minnie and Esmeralda. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you work here. I'm just an ordinary boss. Hey, what has two thumbs and says, great job. When you're wadding through the money box, this guy, this guy, when the night got cold, who showed you where we got the extra coats? You're looking at her, yo. Oh, also I wrote you a name tag. You're welcome, so everyone can know who you are. Also, you get a free blueberry freeze. You're welcome, but just only one. So what could I say except you work here in Disney World, Florida? There's no need to pray, it's okay, you work here. Ha, I just, uh, I'm just your own ordinary boss. Um, and I just wanna say, um, before I move on, I'm not really your boss, and I'm not really supposed to say that. Um, I just wanted to put it out there, I'm not supposed to be saying that I'm your boss. Um, it's, it's actually, really, I could be getting in a lot of trouble for saying that. Um, I just thought it worked with the song and I thought it would be sounding better than me saying, hey, I'm your girl who's doing orientation that works at, you know, the, 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 the souvenir cart who, who sells pins that mean what your, how much sex you've had. Um, okay, so <laughs> next is thing on the list. The last thing on the list is we're going to talk to some people, some of you guys, some of your workers. So please call in. I'm going to tell you guys what job you have. I have a few mandatory questions to ask you before I relay your job, uh, but but uh, I know a lot of you guys think you're going to be, you know, doing the shows, you're going to be in, uh, uh, that's what you get into it, right? You know, I wanted to be in the shows. I didn't want to be selling those pins, and too bad, experience, one experience of me not fitting in the costume anymore because the costume's so tiny and my ass was getting so big. The second one, me be shedding my pants and I couldn't be in the show anymore. Uh, so I was removed from the shows and um, I just have a long list of jobs and to give out a couple of them and the rest you'll get in your emails. You'll get your jobs in your emails. <laughs> um, but there's a couple here I'm going to give away uh, get, just to, to sign people. So if I can get, um, you know, three people to call in, give you a job. Let's see. Hmm. And then uh, I'm really excited to give this out. I'm really excited to get to know you all and to 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 uh, give you a job. Hello, who am I talking to? Hello. What's that? I said, who's, who am I talking to? I know a familiar face. I'm, I'm Megan. Sorry, I had you on. Oh, we're here? Okay, so before I give you your job, first of all, I'm, no, no, we're good. I'm so excited when you applied. I told you to apply. I told you to apply. I, I was so excited when you told me. I, I just was <laughs> glad I had, you know, the, the in. I was so excited that I you did so it because I, I thought you were going to mess this up like uh, you did with a Sephora application I gave you. 
Um, so I'm going to yeah. give you, ask you a few, <laughs> I'm going to ask you a few questions and then I'm going to give you the, the perfect job. Uh, I'm really excited because I, I believe in you so much and I, I, uh, I kind of was trying to pull for you to get one of the good ones. Um, the first question, do you like cleaning up toilet stuff? Absolutely. I, I knew what team, I knew you were going to be a team player. The second question I'm going to ask you is what is your personality in seven words? I am ready to be a princess. Okay. Well, you know what? To be honest, the way you answer those two questions, I have an amazing job for you. And you will never guess it, but you are going to be a Disney culinary expert. Ah! I'm so excited ah! for you. That was a really good one. That was awesome. A Disney culinary yes, expert is one of the I'm so excited for you. This is an awesome job. Like, I literally wanted to get this. I, they won't let me in the kitchen. So basically, the Disney, let me just read the description for you. And you just tell me how you feel. I, and you start tomorrow. Um, I'm really excited for you, Megan. Uh, Disney culinary expert is one of the most important jobs on the planet. Okay, essential worker. You know, pay, pay me time and a half, right? <laughs> you, no, no, no. Um, sorry. You you get paid. It's like uh, a, it's sort of like nine nine fifty. No no tips. You're not allowed to. That's fine. Um, let me just read this for you though, because you, to be honest, once you get this job, you're not gonna want to get paid. <laughs> you're not gonna want to leave work. Um, the Disney culinary expert is one of the most important jobs on the planet, let alone Disney. What happens when we munch? What? Oh, here we go. What happens when we munch 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 our food? Where do the crumbs go? Where does our stinky plates go? Ooh. Ring, ring, calling our, our culinary experts. Disney has partnered with... <laughs> Disney has part... You're laughing because you know how much fun you're going to have. I'm, you're laughing, I'm no, laughing because I'm so excited. Disney has, <laughs> Disney has partnered with Clean for America, an agency that has set out to keep dirty dishes away from the customers. As soon as a dish has been claimed as done, a culinary expert will grab the plate of, out of the customer's hands and run it out to the back to be hosed down. We have more than 5,000 restaurants on site and three culinary experts, and we're so excited for you to join the team. So you're not actually making the food, but it's more like someone's dealing with their food. You go, grab their plate. Oh, 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 go. You know. Yeah. That's so yeah. awesome. I love that job. Yeah. Um, I've been working on a, a recipe. I'm not sure if if that uh okay i i won't serve it but am i able to give any input to no okay, no oh let me ask really I, i'll just ask really quick because i'm on the phone my manager like right now you want me to just ask yeah okay one second hey um yeah i feel like some of the like oh can you just oh are you can you hear me sorry one second can you hear me right now oh yeah okay um, no, I know I shouldn't call you right now, but um, some of the people, some, can you hear me? Yeah, so some of the, like, um, some of the people that just got hired are, like, really complaining about their job. I feel like we should just fire them, right? Because they're, like, <laughs> they're, like, complaining about their job. Like, they're not being thankful at, for anything that we're, I'm giving them. Yeah, so it's, it's Megan. It's, like, she's, like, has the culinary expert job, and she's asking if she can, like, she has, like, this recipe, I guess. This recipe she wants to, like, Okay. One second. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell her. Hi. Um, Hi. To... Sorry. You're yelling at me. Um, <laughs> Hi. Um, I, I'm really sorry. They said that you, you actually will not be able to give them the recipe because you actually won't be working with us. I really didn't want this to I happen. I thought I had but... to end. I well, you're like, you, this, you told me to apply. And you told me I'd get the princess job. So well, I, was, I really thought you'd I get the princess job. I will dress as an ant. I will pick up the crumbs off the floor like an ant's life, a, a bug's life. <laughs> You're making me cough. <coughs> You're making me cough and have a sore throat because I'm allergic to people being mean to me. So sorry. I really thought you'd get Tinkerbell. Like, I'm being honest with you. I, like, really thought you'd get it. But you didn't get it because... That blonde girl from um, the movie Sa Saving, Sa I mean, what's that movie Sa where they um, get it broken up with? Or she's from, what's that movie um, 
where it's a the, it's a show and it's about heaven and it's called the good what is it they go to the bad the, place Chris Kristen 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 Bell's playing her Kristen Bell's, Bell's playing her she is she's playing all the Disney princesses but you didn't want your job you didn't like it you were saying I don't want to work with you doing that no thanks I just I just wanted to you know you know you're yelling. You're one of my best friends. You think I'd be wanting you to have this job as a Disney culinary expert? I wanted you to at least work at the stationary island where we sell stationary and, and little pirate outfits. That's what that's what you that's what I thought I was getting. And then I'm picking up trash and You're not picking up trash though. You're you're running around with dirty bowls. You're running around with dirty pans. That's so cool. Oh, so I get the job back? Well, now you don't have it, but you could have been doing that. Don't you think you've been making a huge mistake? I think so, because I could have been like, I'm thinking of Belle and Beauty and the Beast and when she's getting served and that I could have been, I don't remember anyone who's actually serving, like what plates and jars are serving her. I feel like you're I still getting an that. idea that maybe you'd be in a show, but you're not, babe. And I, I call, by the way, in the comments, I'm calling her babe because this is one of my best friends. And this is somebody I wanted to work with and I wanted every day to be, hello, Megan, and us to do our little Megan handshake. But you ruined it because my boss is so mad at you now. You don't want to know the rest of the dogs on this list. They're not good, honey. I thought I could trick everyone with the dance. I don't have a lot of good jobs. We're not hiring the, the most fun parts. Kristen Bell has all the fun parts. I couldn't even get you in a Scooby-Doo costume. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go. Right row, right row. What? Okay, one second. Let me call him because that, that was a really. Wait, can you say something like, "We have to solve this mystery." I'm the dog Scooby-Doo. If we don't solve it, we're all gonna be going to jail. And also, can I have a Scooby snack, by the way? And it's big cheeseburger. Right row. Uh. I'm screwed. He doesn't really say, he doesn't really say, ah. Uh. I'm screwy dooby doo. Shaggy, we have a mystery to solve. You're improving right now. <laughs> I just forgot the lines. Can you serve them to me slow? So okay. Tell me a little bit at a time. I just need Here time. I go. One more time. This is a, your last right. chance for me to get your job back. It's all, the, all right. my boss is watching this, okay? If you're just right. turning in now, Megan is auditioning to be Scooby-Doo in, a, in Dis, a Disney show because she hates her job as the culinary expert, which is just her throwing away dirty dishes. Okay, so say this. ruh -row. Oh, God. I hate it here. This sucks. We're stuck on an island with these two. I want to be solving a mystery, man. If we don't solve it, <laughs> everything bad's gonna be happening. By the way, I'm hungry. Can I be having a Scooby snack and a big cheeseburger? You gotta say the cheeseburger line. Rat row. I don't want to be stuck on an island with Reese ropes. Rude. With Reese ropes. Scrooby. These folks. Row. Strokes. <laughs> Right, bro. I want a Scrooby Dooby Doo snack and a Burger hamburger. Okay, I gotta say, you nailed the hamburger part. Okay, let me call him really quick. Hey, um, can I just say one more thing? Yeah, yeah. No, I know you're eating dinner with your wife. Um, so I still have my best friend on the line, and uh, she's no, yeah, I told you we were friends. Um, she's the one that was complaining about the culinary. Ex don't look at me when I'm I'm on the phone. Don't look. At me. Um, <laughs> she she really nailed the Scooby Doo line, but to be honest, she's really desperate for this job. I really feel bad not hiring her. She's crying right now, and I'm sure she'll help with the dishes if she gets the Scooby. Oh, we don't have a Scooby Doo show. Should I just tell her anyway she gets the job, just to shut her up? And then once she gets to work, I can make her be doing dishes. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, boss. See you later.
I'm gonna give you your happy ending, by the way. Hey, um, I just got done with my boss. You're never gonna believe this. You got the job, girly. Ah! You're gonna be Scooby. What? I heard everything. I heard everything you said. I heard that I'm going to be s s uh, cleaning the plates. No, like a little you, ant on you Bugs hear? Life. How could you hear? You're not working in the Bugs Life game. Okay. Like the big caterpillar <laughs> that goes. What did you roll. hear? I'm what are caterpillar. you saying you heard? What did you hear? I heard that you said to your boss. No. Hi, it's me. That brat wants to clean the, won't clean the plates. And now we don't have Scooby-Doo. Should I trick her? Um, uh, th um, the internet's cutting out. Sorry. That was so much fun. And she's really excited about her job. And the internet cut out, so she had to leave, though. Um, okay, so there's um, two more jobs to give away. And then the rest of the people I'm going to be giving out, uh, the rest of the people I'm going to be gi giving um, out the, uh, you know, you're in your email, you get your job. So let's see who else is going to call in for their job. Um, this is somebody who has been a really good worker. And I'm really excited. Hello, Victor. Hey, I need you Victor! to stop calling. <laughs> you didn't know you'll be working at Disney. Are you excited to hear about your job? Yeah. Well, first, how the hell are you? You're one of my really close friends. I'm really glad you're working with us. Yeah, so I got transferred from Disneyland to Disney World. No way. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. I thought you didn't have a job. Well, I mean, I was transferred, like, technically I was fired, but that was just because of Victor? the thing that happened on the Cars ride. What's under your hat? Nothing. Victor, <laughs> I see something in your hat. What's under there? It's nothing that's going to stop me from getting hired. So why would you need to know? Because we're all supposed to have dark hair at the workplace. Victor? Oh, my God. You look so hot, but I'm going to have to tell my boss that you did this. You're supposed no, to keep please. it the color of your... No, I have to. Victor, this can get me in so much trouble. Please. Everyone's... This could get no, me too. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Literally, you're supposed to keep the hair color that you applied with a job at. And you dyed your hair blonde. And you look good at better than anybody before. But God, now he's going to not be able to recognize you when you show up. I'm so scared of him. Please, please, no. I have to. I'm scared of her than him for you. For you. <sighs> okay, call him. Literally, do you know how hard I'm trying to hide these highlight I got? Well, not very hard. You've positioned your ponytail around near around your what sorry it paused you're breaking up what did you say it paused <laughs> what did you say about my eyebrow <laughs> i said your ponytail's positioned near down around near your eyebrow victor tell me what you did in disneyland you want to know? <laughs> I'm dying to. I'll do something crazy if you don't tell me. Uh, well, so you know that ride, um, the Dumbo ride? No. What is that? I'm sorry, you don't know the Dumbo ride? <laughs> Dumbo? Well, there's a giant control panel down on near the front where the, where the, and where the Dumbo Imagineer sits. Mm-hmm. Were you the Dumbo Imagineer? Well, no, I actually worked in the, um, the, the frozen yogurt stand right next to it. And, um, me and the guy that ran the ride used to just <laughs> do a lot of different things on the control panel. I'll just say that. Oh my God, Victor. But you, you seriously worked there though? You're not lying? Yeah, I worked there. Hmm. You're being a little bit contagious to me right now. Um, you're really being contagious to me. Suspicious, Cont I mean, sorry. Suspicious to me. Contagious <laughs> in what way? You can't no, tell people that I'm 
contagious no, and I'm gonna suspicious, get everyone suspicious. sick. I meant suspicious, suspicious. So I'm really excited to show you what your job is. And I okay. really know you've wanted to be Aladdin. I know you really want to be Aladdin. Um, and I want to tell you, I really, really, really thought you were going to get it. And they're actually giving it away to a little guy that worked at a button store. And it's Not like Jeff. his dream to play Aladdin. What? Not Jeff, right? No, it is Jeff. And I'm like, it's, wait, come here, come here. He you, really wanted to kidding though. me? No, I'm not kidding you. What? Jeff's good. Jeff? What's wrong with Jeff? Of all people, after what he did? Who cares? It was one prank. Listen, you have a really good job, though. You're going to be I really had, excited. I had poop in places that you don't even want to know where there's poop. I don't always want to know where there's poop That's on you. I always want to know that. But it back in my kneecaps between my toes. Come on, it was one luncheon. It was back one fucking ears. a puppy. It doesn't matter. You harp on everything. That's why you can't be Aladdin. You harp on everything. Okay, so, so now you're I'm definitely job. not Aladdin. You what? You're definitely not Aladdin. They literally they already fit for the costume. Just amazing. He's so good at dancing. Let me see you dance. See, you're not even dancing. You, don't... you know I can't dance. That's why, how can a... Because I had my how... legs surgically removed to have centaur legs. Like from You cannot Hercules. make me say it then. You cannot make me say it. You can't play Aladdin if you can't dance. Sorry. I'm sorry, but you know what you can be? The pooper duper? <laughs> you want me to be the pooper duper? I'm really excited for you. Yay! What is the job of a pooper duper? Well, P.U., what's that scent? Is it coming from the animal kingdom? Was that a stinky DD coming from? <laughs> 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 let me restart, let me restart. I'm sorry, I'm laughing because it's so fun of a job. We used P. to call them DDs over at Disneyland too. <laughs> P.U., what's that scent? Is that coming from the animal kingdom? Was that a stinky DD coming from a big giraffe? <laughs> it <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I'm remembering all the fun times we had at work. And also, I know that Instagram is about to kick us off, but we'll be right back to read the rest of this if, if it does kick us off. P.U. What is that stench? Is that from coming from the animal kingdom? Was that a stinky? <laughs> it's so fun thinking of you in this role. Thinking of you doing your job every day, and I get to see you every day. I know. P U. What is that stench? Is that coming from the animal kingdom? <laughs> Was that a stinky DD coming from a big giraffe? It's definitely not coming from one of our 14 different pooper duper locations. The second most important job into Disney World, aside from the characters who are dressed up like Aladdin, <laughs> is our pooper duper. Pooper to dupers go to the bathroom or, oh, sorry. Pooper dupers are in charge of alerting parents when their baby has probably pooped. They then walk the parent to the bathroom and they pick up the poopy diapy and carry it through the park to the dumpsters and watch it be burned down. We love our pooper dupers. They get free bagels on every Friday and, and every second Friday. That's awesome. You have to be getting a bagel. It kind of sounds like I'm carrying poop just the whole day. No, you're not. You're not even listening. A pooper dipper walks around the park. Oh, ma'am. That one did what? something bad. You know, that one did something bad. And then you go, let me show you where the bathroom is. You're a bath. You're literally in charge of all. Okay, it's going to kick us off in five seconds and we'll be right back. You came back to see the end of the show. You came back to hear what Victor's going to do. Victor, when you come back, request to be in the video. Cause if you don't, you'll never get to be the booper dooper. You'll never get to clean up the poop out of the park. Hello everyone, we're back and we're waiting for Victor to request to be in the video. Okay. 
I'm going to explain to him his job a little bit better because I feel like we got the, a case of the giggles. Um, Victor, would you say we got a case of the giggles when I was reading your job description? Yeah, I'm literally sobbing. <laughs> we, the reason why that happened is because I'm laughing because I can't wait to, to do this. Victor, hey! Oh, hi, Victor. I'm so excited to see you at work today. Are you leading a, a group of parents to the bathroom? That's awesome. Yeah. Don't Actually, forget the hand sanitizer. <laughs> I actually have four toddlers who've um, pooped all down their legs, and so I have to carry them over into the bathroom. Like, that's not, that doesn't sound fun. You're being so sarcastic. You're being like a little modern uh, diddly doo doo, diddly doo doo downer, because you're being literally a downer. T t is this not fun? Okay, that's that stiff. Fun? You know, I have a crush on him. <laughs> what if this little guy was sitting on your shoulder during the job? Filled and with a diaper filled up with poop in it? <laughs> Why would he be pooping? He looks like a baby. <laughs> okay, imagine this. This is a day in your life. I just really want you to take the job because I want to work with you. And we've already fired two people. So imagine this. You clock into work. This little guy's taped to your shoulder as your costume. <laughs> uh, what's all the fun things we're going to do today? Oh God, somebody stinks. You get to be a detective and find out what baby has poopy dee deed in their diaper oh. around you. And then it you get to walk like over Stitch, the It looked like Stitch was <laughs> telling you which babies were pooping. <laughs> <laughs> he does kind of help. This is what the thing about this Stitch, the thing about this Stitch is this, he's like kind of, he has a stench he has a stench detector, and his little head will go wherever he thinks the stench is. And you get to kind of see. You got to kind of, oh, he's pointing that way. There's a stinky over there. Oh, who did it over here? And then you get to be a detective, De Victor. And you get to de 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 decipher. You love One thing I know about you is that you, you, you're a menace, and you love to tattle. So wouldn't you love to walk over, march, march, march. Hello, you little precious princess is poopy. Let me show you what that is. That. I say, hi, I'll take, I'll take her off your hands. No, you're not grabbing the kid. I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> no, you're not grabbing the kid. You're showing them where the bathroom is. You're saying, oh, come with me. Here's the bathroom. Ugh. You don't, to be honest, the pooper duper, people don't even know they work at the park. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm just wearing, I'm just wearing regular guy dude clothes. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> so you're just wearing regular clothes. You're a detective though. You're walking up to people and you get to tell them, I think you're kid <laughs> I think you're kid <laughs> Let me show you what's happening. I'm laughing because this is reminding me, I'm laughing because this is reminding me of the camping trip we went on and you wouldn't stop laughing your ass off when I kept lighting the fire on fire and this and is I got really drunk and I said I said I I can tell in your eyes I can see when you're about to poop <laughs> don't you think that'd be fun hi hello I know you're about to get on a ride I think you I think your kid pooped yeah. I don't work here okay. you actually can say I don't work here oh and then I still have the stitch Am I, are you listening now Okay, I'm actually kind of starting to like this. How fun. Okay, try it out on me. This is my kid. He's pooped really bad. Try it out on me. Oh, I can't wait to ride on the big water slide ride. Honey, I'm so glad we went to Disney World. It's so much better than not having sex at our <clears throat> house. <clears throat> Excuse me, ma'am. Um, hey, do you I work just... here? What are you doing coming up to me? I... Well, people really aren't sure if I work here or not, but I was just kind of sniffing around, and I noticed that your blue kid, um, has his whole diaper is leaking out with shit in it. Who's it business to you? Well, I'm just trying to tell you Victor, where the Victor, you have to hold your guard. I'm trying Who's to tell you where the bathroom is, is ma'am. I don't have to go potty. Do For you have to go potty? disgusting little kid. It's not my kid. I don't care. My kid's sick, and he poops all day. You want me to be in the bathroom sitting there all day? 
I'm going to take Pretty him out much. a lot. Ma'am, let me tell you this right now. If you don't take that kid to the bathroom right now, I might just have to take him myself. I don't even work here. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. You can't tell them that you're going to take their kid. And you can't call them disgusting. You, let's try again. Do it in a nice way. I don't care how mean this person is. You're going to get that bad. kid, and you're going to get his diaper changed in the bathroom without touching him. So help me God. Okay? Okay. Here we go. After we go on this time ride, should we go to the souvenir shop? I want to get matching t-shirts. Oh my God, am I paused? You paused, Victor, come on. Didn't you take that tech class I sent you? I can hear you and you're paused as day. Oh Here we go. Here I go, I'm in line at the souvenir shop getting a big sucker. Victor, Victor, we can't hear you. Victor. And Adam again. Victor, hook your phone up to a sound system. We couldn't hear you. Now let me, let me, I'm gonna call you again because we couldn't hear you. Could you hear me? Okay, let's see. Let's call Victor again, we need to settle this. Victor, request to be in the video again. Here we go. <sighs> Here I am waiting for Victor to come and practice his part. Here he is. All right, let's practice again. Sorry, you, your sound wasn't working. Yeah. All right. Hey, ma'am, before you go on that ride, um, I just have to make sure that that's first of all a human child and second of all that it's just pee in that diaper and not poopy. <laughs> oh, he's human. He doesn't have poopy. Can we get on the ride now? Okay, but I was kind of walking around and I was just kind of smelling and specifically in the direction of that baby's butt. And I was thinking... You're smelling my baby? Well, yeah. That's a little off. I was smelling specifically the baby's butt. And I was thinking, I think there might be poop in that. So oh. I'm just going to direct you over to the bathroom. Well, I'd go if I knew where the bathroom was. I don't really want you to go in there with us. It's right over there. Where? It's right over there. Oh, I don't see it over there. Ow! You're grabbing me, my shoulders. I'm taking this baby over to the bathroom and throwing him in the toilet. Because you obviously can't take care of him. Victor, you cannot. I can't let you have the job. I cannot let you have the job. We do stuff differently at Disneyland, then, because this is... Okay, so close your eyes and put yourself in a different location, Disney World. A place where you can't be doing that to kids. A place where you're not allowed to be grabbing them. A place where you just need to direct them where the bath bathroom is, okay? Let's try is this, this one more time. Is this World Kyrgyzstan or Disney World Orlando? Orlando. Have you not okay. been listening? Okay. Hey, Disney World have you not been listening? Should my eyes be closed? No, they need to be open for this. Okay, here I go. What should we do for lunch today? The food here is so expensive. Lady poop and diaper. Well, it sounds like you're calling me Lady Poop and Diaper. <laughs> like a nickname. Lady, is that what you're doing? This is what I'm, what I'm saying is I'm trying to keep it short and sweet so she gets it. Okay. Let's try it again, short and sweet. You got to give a little bit more information about what, who you are, okay. where you want me to go. And th those are the only two things you need, okay? But when you say lady poop and diaper, you're, you're sounding like you're doing a nickname. And for the, you're coming up to me and I, I don't know you work here. So you gotta, you don't have to reveal that, but you need to reveal what you're wanting from me, okay? Here we go. Um. <laughs> But did I pause again? <laughs> <laughs> you did pause, but I do hear you. Oh, here we go. Victor, we can't. Oh, Victor, he is. Victor is making me very. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give one more job away, and then I'm gonna call Victor back because I'm. So I'm gonna give him some time for his phone to connect better. 
I'm gonna give him some time to practice. So if one more person call in, we're gonna give away one more job. And then I'm gonna call Victor back. So Victor, don't go anywhere, honey. Honey, don't go anywhere. I got one more person's job to give away. Here we go. So this last job is very wacky. <laughs> and it's more of one of the fun ones. Um, so, oh, hi, who do we have? Uh, I'm Anna. Anna, I'm so excited to see, number one, a friendly face. Number two, someone that he likes. Yes, hubba hubba. And uh, I have one more job I want to give you. I was so okay. excited when you applied. Are you excited to work for Disney? Uh, it's kind of a dream come true. <laughs> to be honest, I I'm looking at you and I'm going, that's a Disney princess. And this job, <laughs> but you have to work up to that. Um, so the, the job okay, yeah. I'm giving you doesn't have a picture because uh, it's hard to even imagine, but it's called the Daffy. Oh, <laughs> sorry, my computer. <laughs> I'll go and smooth my computer. It's called the Daffy Duffus. Duffus. And this is a job of someone who sweeps all the time. Sweep, sweep. You like to sweep? Oh, like um, like Cinderella. No, no, no. <laughs> um, so I, no. Um, I don't think we can. Oh, okay. So here, here's the description. I don't think we. I don't think we are in Kansas anymore, because someone sweeped it up. It's important to the park to have someone. Oh, you look a little confused. When I said I, that. I, I thought you were talking about Wizard of Oz and I was really excited because I love Judy Garland so hey girly you're not gonna be in a show I know that you look absolutely stunning you can play any of the princesses I know you probably like Judy Garland I, I bet you have a full song prepared for us honey mm -hmm. you're not in a show if, I, if everybody who wanted to be in a show I'd be in one then but you think you want to be in a show, then you, you, you poopy your pants and you all of a sudden you're, you're not in a show because of that. Um, so stop, stop bringing up different shows because you're, sweet, you're being a sweeper. Um, yeah, so I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Please try not to react to that because I know now that you wish you were in The Wizard of Oz, which me too. You think I don't have a Tin Man routine? I do, honey. Um, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore because someone sweeped it up and it was you. It's important to the park to have someone constantly moving around a big broom. If you miss a spot, you have to start over. And that's pretty much the job. You know, a big reason why I don't have a, a picture is because it's just, can you picture a broom? Yes. Can you picture a, a broom not in a Disney movie? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Because I, I could see the, the, the stars above your head. You, you're wanting to be the star, and, and honey, you are. You're gonna, one day, maybe you will play the little teacup in Beauty and the Beast. Maybe you'll be the villain in, uh, in uh, what's the, he did, maybe you'll be a vil villain in something. Maybe you'll be the princess in something. But today, you're Daffy Doofus. <laughs> you're you're going to be sweeping. And you could use that time to explore what is my story? Because sometimes when you're in these big shows, and I'll tell you, because I was Little Mermaid for seven days before I couldn't fit in the costume. Uh, but I, during that time, I couldn't even sleep anything except for, you guys stop saying Ellie Kemp Kempler in the comments, okay? <laughs> stop, now. Stop it. Um, because you know what? I was in a show and I, I it, it, it braid, braid slept the Little Mermaid. And it wasn't fulfilling to me. I wanted to be near the people. I want to be where the people are. Come on. I, I want to see. Want to see them dancing. Did you not want you, me? I knew you were a good singer. <laughs> Thank you. I hate to see you behind a broom, but I cannot do anything about it. Because Julia Roberts is playing one of the, the Disney princesses and the next Disney princess is played by that Kristen Bell. And it's like, see, these roles are being taken by established actors and actresses. And it's like, yeah, uh, I wish I could see the day that uh, Tony Soprano didn't play the prince in The Little Mermaid, but he is. Tony Soprano from The Sopranos? Yeah. Who's the guy that plays him? What's his name? I want to be where the... Come on. I want to, oh God, there's paint all over my desk. 
I want to be oh. where the people are. I want to see, want to see them dancing, walking along on those, what do you call them? <sighs> Feet. You, I can't do this anymore. I can't let you be a sweeper. You're a star. You don't belong here. Run. Don't walk. Run away from this place. You need to be on Broadway or something. You cannot work at Disney World. You can't be sweeping the broom. We'll get. We'll give. Uh, we'll give someone else the doofus job. I'll do it for hell's sake. You no, cannot I, be here. But I. I want to. I want to work at Disney World. I. You're better than us. Go. You need to get out of my face right now. And you need to head right to Broadway. You, I'm being earnest. I'm taking off my mask. You're an amazing singer and you're too good for us. Us as in me and this, this mug. You're an amazing singer. You have, you're the only princess in town. And you need to go make your own Disney World. How about that? Ellie Kepper World. Oh no, what's your name? Anna. Anna Kepper, Anna World. <laughs> the people in the con, Ellie Kepper, Ellie Kepper. Oh uh, no, that's Anna. She's her own person. Stop saying her look alike now. You are a star and you need to be doing that. You need to be being a star. Hell, I, maybe you are and you're, 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 you're confusing me and you, you're undercover bossing this. Are you undercover bossing me? <laughs> I, I'm not supposed to say. What is it? Tell me. That if, well, that it's not undercover bossing. You need to tell me, where did you come from? What is your job? Are you Ellie Kepler? I. What I role am, did you get? Well, in the off seasons, I did, well, I did her stand-ins for all of her stunts on The Office. And then, oh. and they didn't hire me for Kimmy Schmidt. And like, I was yeah. a little heartbroken. Then that's when I auditioned for, for Disney. And um, they, I'm, I usually work in the Pluto costume. But um, 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 for you, I auditioned to be your stand ins in the office. <laughs> the stand in for uh, the Just one second, sorry. Are we auditioning for the same? Yeah. Um, I'm you got it. I mean, you were the stand in. You want to stop talking about it? Um, no, it's fine. I mean, it was so long ago. The office was like forever ago, right? Yeah. And no one knows um, or so. Really well, I mean, like people it. care about the can't stand ins. Like, I feel like that looks amazing on a resume. They said I had like the way in the back of my head shaped. It's just like not like hers. Um, but that's okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I mean, cool. I'm out of it now, and so that's why I wanted to work at Disney World. Yeah. Well, um, no, I'm so happy you were the stand in. You did like such an amazing. <laughs> you did like such an amazing job. You like look just like her. Thank you. Hey, look at me. What's going on in there? No, I'm fine. I'm not upset. I'm smiling. <laughs> I I can tell I can tell when when your nose is like that. And and that <laughs> eyebrow? That eyebrow? I can tell. Um tell us tell us how, how you feel. Oh, I just feel like I, like, really wanted, like, that part, and, like, I really wanted, like, that stand-in experience, and, like, I thought I, like, had a really good audition for it, and then it's, like, when I got the call, that was, like, the worst thing that ever happened besides, like, my parents' divorce, and it wrecked me, and, like, I've never been the same, and I've, like, never, like, been the same in an audition room, and it's, like, now every time I go in the audition room, I, like, start shaking, and it's, like, I don't want to be at Disney World all the time, like, I wanted to be an actress, and like, I'm but, not. But here's where the tables are turned though, is I'm not either. Not anymore. Yeah, honestly. but you were, and you probably have so much money from it. Where else did you buy that braid on your head? <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful it's, braid. It's like, yeah, my, it's my hair, hair, but. This was a hand-me-down scrunchie. And you're basically, I'm basically talking to a queen and I'm a peasant. And I thought I was the one in charge of the orientation. It's like, why don't you tell, who the pooper scooper is. And nobody even thought it was funny that I about to sit here. It's like, why did I even have this? Uh, because he's the best, obviously. But like, here's, here's the deal. 
because mm -hmm. this is this is the industry this is this is the business it's now, so hard it's one it's so hard and two now the tables are turned because one day i have the part and now my livelihood is in your hands and it's honestly, like the tables have turned but i don't want to be at this dinner party anymore you know it's like when do we get invited to like the big table you know yeah just something I hate to say out loud. It's like, I actually think my life is like perfect. Like I'm selling those like pins in those like section of Disney World that no one goes. And it's like, all of a sudden I'm like, this isn't what I want to do. And like, they tell you it's like the happiest place on earth, but it's like not, it, it can't be everything. Sometimes I wish like I could just get casted on like a show, like everybody loves Raymond and like that call it done. I mean, that's what everyone wishes for, right? <laughs> yeah you're right like I would murder to have played Ray Romano's wife and I would I would do something really bad in my family my my husband I'm not married yet but I would kill him if I, I don't um my wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to your dreams stay big your worries stay small you never mean to carry more than you could have called and when you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you I hope you find someone who loves you. Hey. And I have to hang up on you now. Keep wishing on stuff. Okay. Um, I just want to say Anna means the world to me. And that was really, really emotional for me. And before bedtime, I'm going to call Victor back and see if he can have one more chance to play his role. Victor, call me back. Here he is. Did you, let's see if you got a new phone. Victor. Victor, did you get, oh, your hair's looking even better. Okay, before, we're logging off now, but I need you to one more time. Ask me to bring my kid to the bathroom. Okay. Okay, bring the Shrek doll. Oh, okay, the Shrek. Or skinch. Stinch. Slinch. Okay, here's his. Here's Slinch. Slinch, there it is. Slinch, there it is. Slinch a laka. Okay. You know that I song? <laughs> no, I actually don't. I don't listen to music. I hate it. We're ready. Do you think I paused? <laughs> actually, for a second there, I did. Okay. Um. Hey, can I? Um, borrow that. Me and my son are in line for the Scooby and for a big ride. We're actually going to the Haunted Mansion today. Yeah, I know. Can I um just smell just really? Yeah, our bathrooms are yeah our bathrooms are right over there, man. If you want to just do your job as a mom and clean that kid's ass crack. <laughs> Victor, you were so there until you said that. So you think they want, or we're not allowed to say that's a crack. Are you allowed to say ass? No. We're not even allowed to say crack. All you, you have to do, you you so at almost there, just do it one more time. All you have to do is say, oh, your kid is stinky. Here, I'll give you the script. Hello, ma'am. Oh, God. Your kid's a little stinky. Mine are too, all the time. Bathrooms oh. are a lifesaver. Let me show you where the closest one is. I'm not really doing anything but getting a snow cone anyway. Okay, okay. I kind of see what you did there. It's like I'm a guest at the park too. Mm -hmm. okay. Bond with them. No one's gonna want to follow you to the bathroom if they don't think you have kids. Exactly. Hello. Ugh. Hi. Ugh. I know. Well, you're works. not disgusted yet. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we could be here all night. Hi. Um, I just hi. noticed. Um, hi. It's I have kids so too. hot out today. I know. My kids are back in the car. Um, I was just. I just you can't say that you left your kids in the car, Victor. Why? The Where cops will be there in an instance. Where were they? They're not with me. They just say something. They're sick or your wife's with them. I don't know. You can't say they're in the car. The cops will be on you in a minute. 
You're making me hit my head with this. Well, they're not driving the car. But you can't leave kids in a hot car, especially if it's hot. What? Okay, let's try again. Okay, try again. Don't say anything about your kids. Just have the energy of someone that has them. Okay. okay. Hi. Hi. Yeah. How are you? I, um, you're, I was smelling something and, and I was just, I was about to go to the bathroom if you wanted to follow me over to the bathroom. Victor, you just invited this family to go to the bathroom and smell what you had going on. Now, my mind isn't on the kids, Stinky. It's on your Stinky, Dee Dee. Uh, Try again. I, Don't invite them to go with you to go to the bathroom. It's, all you have to do is say hi. Your kid stinks a little bit. Well, un unless it's you, you could do a joke. Unless it's you. Kidding. My kids oh, smell I, all the time. You know? I like that. Okay. Let's try again. Um, hi. Hi. Hi, yeah. Um, I was just, something was kind of smelling like a little bit weird over here. Um, <laughs> and I was just wondering if it was coming from your ass crack or if it was coming from that thing's ass crack. <laughs> You're using ass crack again. I forgot. I'm going to reach into the phone and jiggle, a, jiggle a, one of those wishing balls at you. Okay. Try again. You're not allowed to curse. Okay. So Hi, we're in the line to get our picture taken in front of the Magic Castle. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not bothering you, but um, I was just kind of smelling something a little bit stenchy from coming over here, and I just wanted to direct you guys over to the bathroom. I heard there's, like, something fun going on. Victor, that was so amazing. Not only did you show them where the bathroom was, tell them that they're stinky, stinky, steedies. You also tried to tell them something very fun was going into the bathroom and said something being bad in the bathroom. Yeah, You're going to make an amazing hole. employee. You're going to make an amazing employee. I can't wait to work with my friends. I can't wait to work at Disney with my friends. Is, am I taking the second verse? Yeah. And I can't wait to usher people to the bathroom, show them how to clean their and do other stuff in there too. Thank you for going to the Disney seminar. Good night, guys.